Hello, hello everyone. Good morning um, or good afternoon, if it's already afternoon on your end. Welcome to today's stand up. We are on day four of week zero. We are progressing so well, really. Uh, kudos to everyone who have really held up until this day. And uh, yeah, let's go into our normal routine stand up. Tell us how was yesterday? Did you face any blocker? And also, did you face any challenge? And how are you going to be, um, you know? Yeah, yeah, just let's report on that. I was going to be like, how are you planning to navigate today? But it's up to the schedule. So let's just share about how was yesterday and the challenges. And also, let's be as detailed as possible. Uh, when you say you managed to submit this and that, or you managed to progress on your um, deliverables, just tell us in details how did you approach your work and how far are you now and if you do not have any blocker that's great but if you have any blocker let us know we have emptina here with us she's going to be helping us um understand it much better okay let's go ahead who wants to go first Okay, get a chill. Uh, well, uh, yesterday it was uh, not that bad. Uh, kind of uh, had uh, issue with uh, maintaining my time. Uh, I had a little issue on the test. I added some uh, test files to my GitHub repo and uh, added its workflow. And when I pushed it to GitHub, uh, it was failing and uh, I had some issue on that. Uh, next thing is, uh, it was more of a question. Uh, while doing the EDA, I was a little confused on how to extract uh, the number of visitor information from the rating column, uh, from the rating data set. And next, uh, will there be an issue if uh, I include multiple modeling the uh, topic modeling algorithms for example i first used t5f then i could not extract the dominant topic for each column and then i used LDA. and uh, after a little while in order to uh, approach it more easily i also used the birth topic so will that be an issue um okay um can you hear me is my uh, yes i can yes uh okay as for the first question uh if i got you right it was about the traffic right to the different websites so um excuse me i was in my own moment uh, sorry, it's um, uh, so as I was saying, like uh, regarding the traffic to a different websites, there is no direct information on that in the data set. So uh, you might just uh, like use um, maybe the referencing IPs or referencing subnets as a kind of an indication. Uh, it's not exactly uh, an information on the traffic it, directly, but it's. Um, you might use it as a, like an indication. It's just like uh, how many uh, subnets or how many IPs have references particular a uh, domain. So just like a my way sign of popularity or how many diverse um, sources have linked to it. Uh, so this is just like my suggestion. Um, as for the other question about using multiple modeling models to 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 perform topic modeling, that's completely fine. Are you like uh, facing a particular problem with a particular model, or like uh, is there some issue in that in that sense, or is it just like you're using multiple models at the same time? Uh, uh, while using TFID, I extracted the to topics but I couldn't match which topic would be dominant for which article. And then I, uh, I moved to LDA. Uh, LDA, I, 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 had, uh, I used a function that could uh, 
correlate the topic to the the uh, topic uh, the topic to the article and uh, once that is resolved that we do not solve the clustering issue so for the clustering i used the uh, topic but i had an issue there and maybe i will uh, send the details on the uh, slack Yes, okay, that will be very good. Uh, just like uh, write the details of Slack and then you can take it from there. There were multiple questions on this topic modeling. I'm just going to note on Slack that like uh, um, I promised to, to get back to and I haven't. Sorry for that. I have been busy, but like um, I will get back to that uh, today, hopefully. We can move on to the next maybe question, unless like uh, as that was this like uh, satisfying or do you have uh, yes questions? it was uh, my questions were answered so okay. uh, I'll let you know if there's any other issues. All right, thank you. So uh, Pascalina can uh, move to the next person. Margaret, sorry. Absolutely perfect. Uh, uh -huh. Let's go to the next person who wants to go next. Let's be sharp, sharp. All right, Mickey. And also to the rest, also, if you're ready to go next, raise your hand so that we can create a queue. Okay, Mickey. Uh, okay. Okay. So yesterday was a bit more difficult than the day before. I, t I was having some performance issues. Uh, there was also some knowledge gap. There some questions I just didn't really know how to do, so I had to do more research. All in all, it took quite longer than I expected. And uh, I think I did most of the questions, but there's still some stuff from task two I haven't completed. So I'm going to do that today and uh, write some report. OK, perfect. Uh, what, what specific question did you struggle or did you have to research on? Uh, yeah, so for example, uh, uh, I think align, I think what uh, also Alazar was talking about, uh, connecting the topics with, uh, with, uh, with a predefined uh, categories, that was very difficult. Uh, I found a solution for it, but I don't think it's a good solution. It's just a solution that worked somewhat, but not fully. So yeah, I'm I'm and I'm still struggling with like making the work actually very good quality because uh, and sometimes I don't know if my answers are actually correct. So yeah, I'm mostly just doing my best. Okay, great. Um, happy to hear that you trying everything possible and researching so all the best looking forward to the reports uh, oh yeah. yeah i do have one question about the report uh is it similar to what uh, remit said yesterday about how we write should write it uh wait let me look at it uh an overview summary of the project introduction project details is it this is it the same like uh, as the final report or is this different the way we would write it. Emptina? Yes. Uh, so uh, the okay. So it's um, interim reports. That's the one that you're submitting today, and the one you submitted before are kind of similar to to the final uh, report. So in general, the um, the general structure should be similar. Like uh, you start with like. Um, explaining or like uh, uh, stating the objectives of report like you try to make the report kind of self-containing in a sense that anyone who can read it can understand what is this about so basically you start with yes uh, like a, um, an introduction like stating the objective the business objective or like the objective of the project and then you go through like um the the methodology or like the method where you you mention or like explain um 
uh, like uh, the tech stack you're going to be using, the steps you're going to be going through and st uh, stuff like that. So what is the difference between um, interim and final? In the final report, there are, are more focus on uh, the results of uh, what, like the project, what you did. And um, uh, so the, you'll have uh, an insight, you have gained the results of your, like um, of the work and uh, uh, conclusions, future steps, like anything that you can, you think you can do uh, more. Um, this is for the final, for the interim report for uh, today, that is something today, you can just like um, explain what you have done so far and what you are planning to do next. So like, uh, so when you explain what you're going through, so yes, the objective, um, so like explaining the data set you're using, the tech stack, that's all the, the you know, steps you're going through, what you have done so far and what you're planning to do next. So um, you have to sort of submit a three page report. So like, yeah, try to keep it up to that three. Um, like anything that you have done, you can also mention like the, um, if you are faced particular, um, blockers problems and they will manage to solve you can also mention that within the within the report it doesn't necessarily even it doesn't matter that if you finished like if you think you finished the work or not you just you have to mention in the report that what you have done and what you plan to do next so does that make sense to you okay. yes that makes sense uh do we also uh, so we don't add insights or do you add insights uh do you add, add insights? Insight. Yeah, you add the insights you have so far, you have gained some insights, you can add those. So if you like, for example, if you've done some EDA and you gain some insight, you have some graphs that you can show, you can include that in the in this interim report as well. Um, and of course, in the final report, uh, like just try to keep it within three pages, the whole thing, okay? Okay. Uh, when will the three page report be submitted? Um, it should be on 10x platform. Um, is there is a should you should be able to see that? Uh, when is there Maybe a platform? It will be uh, open on later today for the report one. Further clarification on the report you have submitted. Think of the interim submission like you are the initial phase of, phase of your project, and that means you don't know much about the project, but you only know its objective, why you have done, or why you are going to do this project, and uh, what was the business uh, requirement for that, and what is the what data do you have, and if you made a, an initial exploration of the data, you can include that one on the final. In addition to all these things, you will add your result and findings there. So maybe just to make it more brief. Uh, okay, perfect. My key was that um, enough explanation. Was it clear enough? Uh, yes, that was uh, adequate information. Okay, perfect. Great. Let's continue to the next person. You can raise your hands. Let's get a uh, maximum three people on the queue. Okay, we have Mama Muhammad. Who else? Let's be sharp with it. Let's be sharp with it. It's basically giving us a report of, you know, how you are progressing on your end. We have Sumeya to go next. And who else wants to complete the queue? Raise your hand. We're waiting for you. Okay, Arasa. Okay. And the rest, you can also join the queue. Uh, let's go ahead, Mama Muhammad. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Good morning.
Um, how much we can hear you? You are muted if you are speaking. Okay, so as Muhammad is fixing it, Sumaya, you can go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, yesterday was um, good, actually. Uh, the day was not that much effective. My internet and my AVS uh, got some problems. But at night, I can fix that. And it was kind of productive. I can do, instead of like doing the code on the actual work, I was trying to explore what the subjects, because I don't have a lot of information about uh, the model stuff my so I have to explore them so I didn't do that much work but I do a lot of explorations about the models the topics and the things I will cover in the project so that's all I do I think and it was good actually okay great perfect um okay all right so okay can you hear me yeah we can okay good morning everyone uh yesterday is good for me yeah i am the technical challenge i guess too many challenge but uh, at the end of the day i mean at the night I fixed uh, all of them. Uh, most of the challenge I faced is on yeah, keyword extraction algorithm, like which uh, algorithm is best for keyword extraction and uh, to uh, perform topic modeling. So uh, at the end, I go to this TFI, uh, IDF algorithm and uh, uh, I fix it uh, the performance of the algorithm also. And and meeting the daily tasks, which is the big for uh, all right. So we lost you. Um, if you can hear us, Arisa, we can't hear you. Um. Okay. Um, okay. Can you leave the call and rejoin and see if it works? Okay. We give you the next time to speak after Muhammad. Muhammad, you can go ahead this time. All right. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, yesterday was again a fruitful day. I had to explore a lot of things, uh, mainly the models. Uh, most of the models, I have never gone through them. So I did some research and tried to do the exercises, the uh, tasks which were given to us. Uh, and also I got to know how to track our models using the ML flow. Um, it was a pretty 
good day and a lot of technical work in the that's all I have to say. Okay, keep it up on your end, Muhammad. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's hear from more people. Raise your hands, raise your hands. We're waiting for you. Let's not call up names. Hello, hello to those who haven't shared yet. We are not even seeing something in the chat box. If you're not ready to speak, please uh, share your detailed reports in the chat box. But if you're ready, raise your hand and report. Okay, we have God's will. Uh, I would like also others to join the queue so that we can use our time effectively. Um, people who haven't shared, like Stacy, um, Hamad Bedru, Sitota, Carmel, Nathaniel. Good morning to you all. Please join the queue. We're waiting for you. I'm seeing Elizabeth as well. Okay, Stacy, then share in the chat box and uh, keep it detailed, detailed, so that we can see the full picture of uh, how everything is progressing on your end. In the meantime, God's will, go ahead. Hi, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, absolutely, we can hear you. So, um, it's going well. I did, I completed, um, tax one, two. Yeah, so I'm currently doing, uh, I think the three stars are just the stacks. Um, and I'm the challenges I'm having is on ML flow. Like, I don't even know where to start as regards that one. But I'm still currently building the, uh, the, with, the different, with the different models, LDI and LDA from, uh, yeah, from SKLN, regression, I'm just trying out different things as regards the model. As well as ML flow, I'm not sure where or how to use it yet. So that's that's the update on my end. Oh, can you give us a bit more details, Scott? Ah, more details. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what specifically. Okay, so I I did tax one, I did tax two. Um currently working on the uh the natural language processing. I I tried um I you know I tried to um uh, I'm trying both tagging the different uh different articles like just a single tag, you know, to say okay, this is where yeah, it belongs to it sports, is it countries, is it uh, politics, fashion or food? And so I'm trying on that. I under which I would just like um you know just like arrange sample codes and try it out on topic extraction and just that uh, that's really where I am at the moment. Okay, so great. Mm -hmm. 
yeah we got it we got it okay keep it up on your end god's will um carmel okay hello everyone uh so uh best read was uh, actually a little more a little bit more challenging uh because you know uh we are getting deep and uh, uh, it's getting more technical so understanding the concept is uh, a lot more different than uh, you know making something that works you know writing the code and uh, doing things so it was a little bit more challenging and uh, managing time effectively was also a little bit more challenging but overall it was good and uh, I think I'm doing good overall. Yeah, that's it. Okay, great to hear that it's going well on your end. Oh, uh, yes, Nathaniel Solomon. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh... The story is uh, a little bit uh, more complicated, as uh, my friend suggested, and uh, that's good. Uh, I think more challenge means more research, and uh, it's good to work. Uh, is uh, is too good to, to exceed ourselves. So overall, my day was my it was a good day yesterday. So. Uh, that's it. Uh, any details on how you're approaching your work and any challenges you have faced yet? Mm, yeah, uh, I'm uh, new for ML ops and I've been researching on them and try to fix the problems and uh, not to get in details, but uh, it's more technical and it's good to have the, this kind, of, this uh, such kind of challenge. Okay, perfect. I'll keep it up on your end. Thank you. Um, then we have uh, Elizabeth and. Sitota and uh, he what sharing in the chat box. Okay, that's great. Um, okay, happy to hear that everything is going well uh, for almost everyone. We are right on time. I uh, can give this time to. Emptina or Rahmat, if there is anything you want to add, or we can call it a day. Um, I don't have anything to add today. Okay, I believe Rahmet also, uh, if there are any announcements she's going to share on Slack. Uh, then let's call it a day and enjoy the rest of our decisions that are, that are going to be up for today. Um, one quick announcement is that you will be seeing the leaderboard anytime soon, like within two hours. Uh, so make sure to check uh, to check it out, especially for the interim reports or for the very first submissions of your CVs, uh, so that you you see what improvements you have to to make, so that you can plan your submissions on Saturday accordingly. Aside from that, thank you so much for joining. Have a great day.